It's the start of the second season, so that means it's time for new challenges and some more fun. Hi, I'm Eric. And I'm Jeff. And we are the Mistaken Brothers, and welcome back to an all-new season. We got a lot of great things coming up this season. It's, well, the best time of year, I feel like. We have Halloween, which we could do a lot of Halloween-themed challenges and taste tests. Then we got Thanksgiving, which we could do a lot of, well... Is there any really Thanksgiving things you really think of? Uh... Eating turkey? <laughs> a turkey eating con- oh, no. No. no, 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 no. No eating turkey. Maybe we'll do some type of fast food mashup or something using Thanksgiving leftovers. And then we have Christmas, and I have the best challenge that I cannot wait to do, but it has to come around Christmas time, unfortunately. What is it, gingerbread houses? No, we're going to be doing that, but it goes along the lines of keep talking and nobody explodes, but with toys. So anyway, that's coming something. up in the future. But what are we doing today? Well, it is Halloween time. Yeah, it means treats. Ooh. Ooh, you think what I'm thinking? Yeah, I am. You want to use a little bit of YouTube magic to Let's do, this? do this? Okay, in three, two, one. Hashtag, Hashtag sorry, Josie. Okay, hold on. So, I would have loved to do this portion of it at Disneyland, but unfortunately, the microphone was left at home, mm -hmm. and the microphone we actually have on top, the shotgun mic, is a piece of garbage. It's going to get replaced at some point soon with the nicer Rode mic, but right now, we're going to have to do the review back here a couple days after we got back, but it's all right, because of they're still fresh in my mind. So, yeah. we went to Disneyland for a day and a half. Pretty much. We drove there really early on Saturday. Got there first thing in the morning. Stayed most of the day at Disneyland, minus the little break we had at the hotel. Tried as much as the Halloween time food as we could at DCA. We got so full. And then we had rode a few rides because we had to get some inspiration about our Halloween party, which we'll be doing a vlog about mm -hmm. in the coming weeks. So first thing we ate was at Flo's V8 Cafe. We lunch. had lunch there, yes. And we had the Caracnid Pie. I do gotta say that the Caracnid Pot Pie was delicious. Yes, yeah, so it, the first bite, it, it was weird because it, it's chicken on the inside. But what does it remind you of? It reminds me of Thanksgiving because you had like the rosemary, the mm -hmm. thyme, had there's cranberries in there. So you got the sweetness of the cranberries. It tasted like someone took Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and crammed it together in a pie. I guess the only thing that was missing would have been mashed potatoes because they had, you know, actual pie crust on top yeah. of it. That would actually have been good if it was like a shepherd's pie with mashed mm -hmm. potatoes on top. That would be pretty good, I think. But it was amazing it was delicious had a little bit of sweetness with the cranberries and tartness from the cranberries but then you had the savoriness from all the meat in there as well mm -hmm. as the veggies that were in there as well i mean it could it could double for thanksgiving too just switch out with turkey instead of chicken oh right it's, well it has this little picture of a you know spider on well, top yeah, of it. you don't have the spider that. on it maybe. so yeah you could like switch out the spider for like a leaf a leaf or a turkey i guess on top and have it around for thanksgiving i don't think they're gonna do this i think the this ends on October 31st when Halloween ends at the resort. It's sad, but it was the it most was, delicious thing ever. It was really good, and I really enjoyed it. Now, the next thing we also had there was the mini cone or candy cone pie, mm -hmm. which looked like a candy corn a little bit. It did, and it also was topped with a little candy corn. Hello, candy corn top. It was a whipped cream frosting on top that they actually, you know, dyed like a candy corn. So it was orange, yellow, and white. white. And then the inside of it was a... And I'll read this from the website because I will probably forget one of them. Was vanilla, butterscotch, and white chocolate pudding. Mm -hmm. And that was actually really good. I think the worst part about this was was the crust was ridiculously sweet. It was really sweet. Like, it was sweeter than the it toppings. It was sweeter than... Well, the toppings were like whipped cream frosting isn't really that sweet. But the pudding in it wasn't this sweet compared to the pie crust. It was a little crazy. I got a lot of the butterscotch out of it. I didn't really get any of the other flavors. I didn't get much butterscotch out of it, but then we I got butterscotch out of it. Two different taste buds, so yeah. So it was good. It was small. Was it worth the price? Probably not. Probably not. I, I mean, I can make it at home, and maybe we'll do that on the channel we or on Race Up on Base channel. We have we have <laughs> those little we have little tiny pie tins, yeah, from <laughs> your guys' wedding. Still, it's we can do that. 
Um, then we went on later on that day and got the pumpkin spice churros. So this was over at the Cozy Cone. Cozy Cone, yeah. yeah. And let's just say it smelled like pumpkin spice in the air it's, over there. Yeah, it smelled really good. It smelled really, really good over there. But then when you bite into it? It didn't have pumpkin spice flavor, like instantaneous. I was expecting to bite into it and yes, get the, exactly. like the allspice, nutmeg, cinnamon mm -hmm. combination cloves. And then it kind of tasted like a plain churro almost. Yeah, it took it took a, a while though for you to just get yeah, a little like, if you like, of it. If you mouth. wait like a minute and then not eat anything, just sit there. The flavor slowly developed on your tongue. I don't know if that was our goal was to not like make it like hit you in your mouth right away. I know the smell. Maybe, maybe, maybe but I think it needed a, like flavor when you actually taste it. Yeah. I think that was the downside of that one. It wasn't bad. It just... No, it definitely wasn't, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't what I was expecting from a pumpkin spice churro. Yes. From that, we went on over to the chili cone queso cone at the Cozy Cone Motel and mm -hmm. picked up the slow burning mac and cheese cone. Now, mac and cheese is like one of my favorite things. It so. is one of your favorite things. Now, one of the reasons we decided to go and do these treat things there is we watch another YouTube channel called Magic Journeys and they have a show on it called The Wonderful World of Food where they go and try out the foods around Disneyland and talk about them a little bit. Mm -hmm. We looked at it and like, that science sounds good, but we need to try it ourselves. ourselves. You know, we need to get there and just talk about it a little bit. Yeah. So it comes in a cone-shaped bread. Mm -hmm. that's Which, not very thick. Not very thick at all, but it's dyed black. It's really awkward Halloween. looking. Halloween, yes. And then it's stuffed with macaroni and cheese. That has like a slow hint of like heat to it, but it's like, I don't know how to put it. It's like, like nacho cheese. It's like nacho cheese. It was like <laughs> nacho cheese sauce. But you know when you have like nacho cheese sauce and you eat it, it's like, it doesn't really burn your mouth. It just, it just tastes has, like it has yes. spice to it. It tastes like it has jalapenos yes. in it. It's what it tasted like. I, I do agree. And then it had the, on then top it had of it had the cheese, cheese puffs that were spicy. Fiery cheese yeah, puffs. Yeah, fiery cheese puffs. And those were didn't add much tea to it. I mean, it didn't seem spicy to me at all. No. It was good. I made the mistake, though, when I ate it, and I ate the entire cone, you all made, the contents you the of, it first, of it first, and then I had this very bland bread, bread on the outside of it. You really need to, like, eat it simultaneously. Like, you can eat, like, a lot uh, an ice like, cream cone. It's like what I did, though. I, I, I dug out a little bit first, and then after a while, I just started biting yeah. with it together. I should have done it, that. And it kind of blended well together. It wasn't You didn't have that bland taste of just bread. Yeah. So the last cone we went to at the... Uh, cozy cone eating area was the pop cone and got the junkyard jimbury popcorn which was popcorn m&ms boston baked beans chocolate covered pretzels and candy corn and sprinkles and sprinkles yes all the sprinkles fell to the bottom that's why i forgot <laughs> the sprinkles existed in there they were at the bottom but for the popcorn we, we did get just buttered popcorn you could get like garlic parmesan and sriracha well okay, they didn't apparently ask casey when she ordered it we heard that you could get different flavors. I think it would have been odd with any other flavor. I'm truthfully. just guessing probably people didn't really want to have those different flavors. Do you want with pizza all with all that stuff in no, there? No, I don't. That sounds disgusting. Yeah. yeah, it does. But it did blend the perfect amount of like sweet and saltiness. Like sweet and savory. Sweet and savory. Well, you get like the saltiness from the popcorn and like the yeah. pretzels and you get the, the chocolateiness. And it was really good. Until you got to the candy corn. I love candy corn. I don't think candy corn was supposed to, should be in that. It, the candy corn was too sweet for but, it. But well, I have think like, they threw it in because it looks like a cone. It's part of Halloween. Yes. But you got, you got to think, okay, like chocolate. They use milk chocolate. It's sweet, but not too terribly sweet. Mm -hmm. They had the boss baked beans, which had the peanuts in it. The candy cat side the show. Crunchiness. Not too much sweet. They had the chocolate covered pretzel, which is a little bit of chocolate. And then the saltiness of the pretzel. Mm -hmm. The only thing that was pure sugar in there were the sprinkles, which... Didn't really get any. Didn't eat any of them. The and then the candy corn, which is just pure sugar. So mm -hmm. it was, when you got a bite with just candy corn in there and no chocolate and popcorn, it was very, very, very sweet. And the last thing we tried there was the grape goulant shake. Yes, which, put grape Kool-Aid in it? It tastes like grape Kool-Aid and vanilla ice cream. Hey, you can, you can, I, well, why I got it, yes, you could tell it was just vanilla ice cream. So I saw them get it from their vending machine. But they obviously put, like, I don't know, grape powder or something in there. But, in there, I mean, yeah. that's what it kind of tastes it like. Tastes but when you like look at it, it looks like it's all swirled together, kind of, so you can see the vanilla, you can see the grape. So you can clearly tell it's... I'm not a big fan of grape-flavored drinks unless it's actually like grape juice yes well i like like grape kool-aid and stuff but I don't this like drink the grape kool-aid or this though. shake 
No? It doesn't mix together. You could taste... The first sip of it I had, I tasted the grape, and then after it, I got the vanilla. Mm -hmm. But then subsequent sips from it, all I got was vanilla flavor with a hint of grape. So I don't know if this is a bad mixing job on it or something, but I didn't necessarily like it. And because of that, I'm putting that at the very bottom of my list. That was definitely at the very bottom of the list. So we did try, what, six items or five items we just said discussed there? We had the... the pot pie. Pot pie. We had the mini pie. We had the churro. We had the, the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Yeah, the popcorn. popcorn. So we had tried six things. So we have a list of six items that we need to rank. So the bottom of the list, I think is, we both agree, is, is the, the grape, grape coolant, coolant shake. Mm-hmm. Next thing on the list, I from would say... From the bottom up. Let's okay. just go from the bottom up, from the least favorite to the most favorite. All right. I want to say the next thing on that list is probably... Ooh, I think for me, it's got to be the churro. Yes, that's what I was going to say, the churro. The churro was a letdown. It wasn't bad, it just... When I heard that there was a pumpkin spice churro, you know, I was expecting it to be, you know... I love the regular churros. Yeah. I was expecting, you know, kind of to be at par. Yeah, no. After that, I would say it would probably be, just for me, because of the way I ate it, I'm going to say the strawberry mac and cheese cone. Oh, okay. Because the outside of it needs some salt or something. Like, it was, I think it's a, supposed to be a bread, not bread, like a, a pretzel bread outside. It could be. And I feel like if it had to, some salt on the outside of it, it would have been I, I could so agree much better. That. I could agree with a little bit more Is that, salt. What would your, be your next well, one? Well, I, I was going between that and the little mini pie. Okay, so I would say the pie would be the next thing on my list. So we, so we, we kind of reverse, kind of reverse them, it. Because I would say the, the pie and then the mac and cheese. They were, okay, I would say they're probably about equal. They both had some flaws. Mm-hmm. The mac and cheese outside needed some salts, like I said. And, and the crust. crust of the other pie needed less sugar to yes. it. So that leaves us the last two spots on the list, which is, I would say number two is the popcorn. Yes, the popcorn. Even though the candy corn in there made it ridiculously sweet, it's not like there's a ton of it in there. And if you actually get it balanced with the you know, pretzels or the M&Ms in there, it really dials down that sweetness. Mm-hmm. Which means the last thing is the Kraken and Pie, which was by far... Most of the, me. <laughs> that was the first time we ate that day. It was. And so it maybe, was, maybe that's why it was so good. Because we didn't eat for hours yeah, before that. But I, I do think that was one of the best things I've had there. Besides yeah. going to like one of the fancy restaurants. But. Yes. I think that was probably one of the best things we had there. Anyway, guys, leave a comment down below if you've tried these snacks and what you thought of them. Who knows? Maybe we have some similar things and taste on them. Or if you tried something during the Halloween time that we haven't said in this video, let us know so maybe next time we could go try them out. Yes. Anyway, guys, if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button that lets us know so we're going to be like this in the future. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, and if you are subscribed, hit the bell notification icon to get notified every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4 p.m. Pacific for release new videos because we are now releasing at 4 p.m. Not noon any longer. And don't forget to share our videos because we do have a lot. This is the second season, so that's, what, almost 70 episodes? like 72 episodes or 73 videos online or something like that now. Join us Monday as we talk about our other experience at Design Resort, which was riding the train again, as well as yes. Mark Twain and everything else. And we got to see the brand new rock work that they did and how well they renovated everything yes, to make really it look good. nice for, well, Star Wars Galaxy Edge. Anyway, until next time, I'm Eric. And I'm Jeff. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm.